Greetings. In this video, I'm going to provide a body memory exercise to teach us to use our fingertips. Now, we don't always use our fingertips. There are situations where I'm going to do a bar, or maybe I need to hold down two strings, or let's say I'm using my fingertips here, but then the only practical thing is to use a pad somewhere else. So, there are exceptions to every principle, but I would say that the vast majority of time we want to use our fingertips to play. It's a leverage thing. It takes less effort to use my fingertip than it does to use the pad of my finger. If I use the pad of my finger, I'm just going to wear out my hand more quickly. And you could say, well, I'm going to get stronger, but at the same time, you can get strong using your fingertips and then um, also have more precision. It's really hard to do rapid pull-offs you know, all over the fretboard and not bump other strings when I'm using pads. And it's a lot easier to mute other strings when I use pads. So we want our default to be using fingertips. And then when the situation calls for it, we make an exception and we use pads. Now, in order to train our body to be aware of the feeling difference, we want to feel it and notice it uh, when we're playing so we can catch it and change it. And a way in which we can train our body to do that is this body memory exercise. I'm just going to go to the first fret by the nut, okay? So first string, first fret. Instead of being near the fret, I'm going to go near the nut. Now, what I encourage you to do is play with the pad of your finger and then ease up the pressure a little bit and find where it starts to buzz and sound wrong and think about how much force you're putting in, okay? Now try it with your fingertip and you're gonna ease up and find that same line. So we need to find out what's the minimum amount of effort that goes in to make it a nice clear sound with my fingertip and my finger pad. Well, I just did the opposite, my finger pad and my fingertip. There we go. So what you're gonna discover is that your fingertip actually takes a lot less effort. Now, as I've taught, I've had guitarists who have always played with their finger pads and they feel it differently because their body has become conditioned to use their pads, in which case they really just need to take it on faith. Unfortunately, there's uh, got to be enough trust there and they have to have enough respect for your technique that they're willing to take the criticism and try to change. Um, but it, um, it really pays off to switch to fingertips if you're doing pads. And if you catch yourself using your pads, I would do this little exercise and it's going to help you to be more aware of it as you play. And then just take your time, work on scales, you know, do some basic scales and really use that time to focus on using your fingertips. And it's going to start to become more and more automatic as you start to go into other areas of your technique. Uh, reading music while focusing on just using your fingertips uh, is also a really, really good training for that because we need to be able to just get our eyes off of the guitar but automatically do the right thing. So give that a try. See if that's helpful. Uh, thank you very much for help watching. Oh my gosh, I hope this is helpful. I'm jamming my sentences together, but you get the idea. God bless.